Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and if you guys have been following along then we are... We're getting there. We're almost done actually. We have got most of the stuff... Let me just put this back. Most of the stuff where we want it. We've got ourselves some guide wires. We've got ourselves switches to control visibility. Uh, and we've pretty much got everything done. We haven't skinned the character yet, and we're going to be doing that in, in a very short bit. And we also haven't done the uh, important controls to move the character into the scene. We want different controls that are going to allow us to rotate and move these characters around different points to make animation easier. It's really simple stuff. We're going to tackle that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to make sure we are in uh, polygons. And we are going to go to create. And we're going to say NURBS Primitive, and we're going to go to Circle. The same way we always build our controls. This is the way we, how we always build it. And you guys can make it any way you want. In fact, we're going to change this one right here. Um, let's call this one here Control underscore God. And the God node uh, is typically used uh, to place a character in the scene exactly where you want it. Let's make this thing here uh, 3. Is that big enough? No, we got to make it bigger than that. Let's make it uh, 10. OK, that's not so bad. OK. And we're going to change this one here so we can identify it easily as the God node. And I mentioned before that my controls look slightly different than the ones that you've seen up until now, or that I have you know, squared some of them off and that kind of stuff. And it's as simple as this. If you want to do something with a control, you select the control, you right click and hold down the right mouse button, you say control vertices, and then you select the things you want to move. So let's say I want to move this one, I want to move this one, this one, and I'm just I'm just shift uh, shift selecting, so I'm selecting each one individually. And let's say I want that, and I'm just going to use the scale, let's say, and I'm going to scale it out. There, so that, there, I made a square one there if I want, and why don't we leave it like that, it's kind of a square. And that's going to be our God node, so now it's going to be easy to identify within the scene. You'll be able to see that at uh, this control and know right away that's the God node. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as square for this guy. Now, like we always do, we're going to, again, go into object mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to select this guy here, and we're going to say uh, edit. Uh, it's probably unnecessary to do this. In fact, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'll do it with the next one. OK, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, a, uh, another node that's going to be called the ground, the ground control. And the ground control is going to be used for us to identify and move the character up and down to change the pivot points. And let me show you what I mean when I say that. First thing we're going to do, create. NURBS primitive, circle, let's make it uh, 5, no, not big enough. I'm just guessing at these numbers, can you tell? Let's make it 8. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's make it 9. Let's make it 10. Same as the other one, 10. Perfect, just like that. We're going to call this one here CNT uh, underscore ground. ground. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our outliner. Well, you know what, we're going to build one more first. And again, everything is zeroed, so we're going to select this guy. We're going to say Modify, Freeze Transformations, and everything here will be zeroed. We're going to select this guy. Uh, we're going to say uh, Modify, Freeze Transformation, and everything will be zeroed. The last thing we're going to do, we're going to create one more node. And uh, let's do it like this. Let's uh, just select this one here, and we're going to, we're going to copy it. So Edit, Duplicate, boom. And we're going to call this one here. Uh, we'll call it uh, COG for center of gravity. And I'm going to place this node. I'm going to use my little, uh, my little magnet with the dot. And I'm going to move this node up until it's on the root, boom, root bone right there. And I'm going to say that's the center of my character. That's perfectly fine. That's, you know, that's his weight. His weight's in his chest. So when he actually does flips or anything like that, uh, it's going to allow us to rotate him around that point. And I'm going to turn that off. Now, we're going to open up our outliner with our window uh, outliner, bang, and we're going to find our controls. So they're right here. We're going to take the center of gravity and we're going to put that inside of the ground control, just like that. And then we're going to take the ground control and put that inside of the uh, control root. Uh, sorry, of the control god. Now that means that this entire thing is now located within within uh, this this guy. So the last thing we're going to do, sorry, within, within this structure, within this hierarchy. I lost my train of thought there for a second. All within this hierarchy. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that everything is following along with this character. And how do we do that? We're going to take our, where is it? Our control system. Where is it? Let me find it. 
it's in here somewhere. Right there. We're going to take our adjustment node, our root adjustment node, and we're going to drag that entire thing. I showed you guys this little trick before. You can separate this just like that, dragging up. We're going to find our god node, which is right here. We're going to take this entire thing, this entire thing, right here, the adjustment node, and we're going to drag it and we're going to drop it under the control. Hey, no one does that. Under the control um, for the center of gravity. Now, whenever we move this thing around in the scene, we're going to move the character. Now, as you can see when I move it around, the bones and the root are following, but we're having a problem where our IK systems are being left behind. So we have to take our IK systems, so let's look for those. They're going to be in this list too. Um, we can take any of our adjustment nodes. So let me see, here's our, our adjustment node for our um, pole vector leg. Pull vector leg, pull vector arm, pull vector arm. We need all those. We need our adjustment node for the IK hand, left and right, and the adjustment node for the foot. We're going to take all of these things and we're going to drag them and drop them under the center of gravity, just like that. Now, if I move this around, you can see the head has already been skinned. You can see that the entire character, except for the mesh, which we haven't actually skinned yet, uh, is coming with it. We're moving the entire thing, we're moving the entire control structure back and forth, and that's exactly what we want to do. That allows us to take this character and place it anywhere in the scene. So we can say, oh, I, I kind of want him uh, over here. And we can place him anywhere we want in the scene. Great. Now, the other thing this does is it, the, the triple control system we have here with the um, floor and the center of gravity allows us to change rotation points. So, for example, let's say my character was falling. Uh, I could use this center of gravity control to, to rotate his entire body. So he's like, oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. And you see how all of the controls are actually going along with the character. And that makes it easy for your animator. Afterwards, your animator, it's going to be very, very easy for your animator to actually move and control this character the way he should. Okay. And lastly, the floor. Now, the floor also changes where this character rotates about. So if I wanted to move the floor down, for example, and change the floor here, then I can actually change the pivot point of the character by rotating this now. You can see now the character is rotating around his knees. Or, if I want to be a little more extreme, I could move the floor all the way down to like, you know, his head, let's say. And now, when I rotate this character, it's rotating about his head. And that allows your animator to have, you know, he could be swinging on something, wee wee, or something like that. This allows your animator, this control system allows your animator to, let me just put all this back to zero. Oh, why is that zero there? Okay, this one here now has to be zeroed. Zero. Okay, this allows uh, much more flexibility for your animator to be able to move this character around where he wants to. Now, the last thing we're going to do right now is we're going to go into our edit. This is before we skin. <laughs> we still have to skin. Um, we're going to go into our window, and we're going to open up our outliner. And we're going to group stuff that we want grouped together into very specific nodes. So, let's start uh, with the... Let's start with the uh, default head, smile, all this stuff here. We're going to select all this stuff here. This is all of our blend shapes. I'm going to select all the blend shapes. And I'm going to say uh, edit, and I'm going to group it. Group. Where's group? Right there. And I'm going to change this to uh, blends. And what I'm doing now is I'm just grouping the things that I want to go together. So for example, the mesh. I'm going to select all the mesh all of the mesh. Is that all of it? Head. I'm missing an arm. Where's my arm? Right there. And I'm going to say edit group. And I'm going to call this group mesh. Now by doing so, I'm just cleaning up this area here. Here's all the Terra stuff we did before. I'm just going to take the Terra stuff and I'm going to group that. Edit group. And I'm going to call this terrace. I switched out over from terrace just so you guys could see the uh, uh, just so you guys could see the eye control, and the eye control is much easier to show on um, on Steve than it was on Terrace's head. Okay, great. And then the last stuff here, we have all this extra stuff. This is really basically the control structure. Take it all, uh, except for the roots, except for the root joint. Edit group, and we're going to call this our control control. And the last one you're going to do is, of course, the root edit group. And we're going to call this joints. OK, everybody, that's going to bring us to the end of this part of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you comment. Talk to you all very soon.